Six years ago, Apple killed the iPhone as a viable video camera for professionals with the release of the iPhone 8 and 10 due to the introduction of a single new feature and then crippled every handset that was released prior to it with a software update. This saw Steven Soderbergh going from raving about his experience of shooting the psychological thriller Unsane on the iPhone 7 Plus as being the future of filmmaking to him considering asking Apple to pay for the post-production costs for his follow-up film, High Flying Bird, which was destroyed by the iPhone 8. He even begged Apple to change just one thing to save the iPhone as a camera, but his pleas were ignored. That is, until the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max were released in September of 2023. So, have Apple finally redeemed the iPhone as a pro video camera? Well, to answer that, Let's look at what ruined the iPhone for filmmakers in the first place. Dynamic tone mapping. Dynamic tone mapping is at the heart of Apple's imaging pipeline, and it uses an algorithm to segment the image, then dynamically remaps the shadows, mids, and highlights based on an analysis of the scene in order to deliver increased perceived dynamic range and a more pleasing image. Along with the ISP, we have an Apple Design video encoder. It does real-time image and motion analysis to predict changes in the content and optimize the video encoding algorithms. This works really well for still images, but when changes occur in a scene during a video recording, iOS would override the locked exposure and fight with it, the result being some truly appalling exposure shifts. This issue was so egregious, it forced me to abandon Apple completely in favor of the privacy-invading Prince of Darkness himself, also known as Google's Android, just to get a pleasing and predictable image out of a smartphone. Google's Android Camera 2 API, when implemented correctly by the handset manufacturer, which is rare with Sony being the best at this, did not fight your manual exposure. However, with the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, Apple has finally disabled dynamic tone mapping, but with a catch, only when capturing in Apple ProRes Log. We are also introducing log encoding to make ProRes even more powerful for our pro users. You see, Apple Log uses a completely different video processing pipeline to the iPhone's other video modes, one that disables dynamic tone mapping completely so that when you lock exposure, it remains locked. There's no computational algorithm fighting with you and ruining the shot. It behaves like a real video camera. And on top of this, Apple Log looks absolutely stunning too, finally offering a true log curve to maximize dynamic range. Gerald Undone has made an excellent video that offers a deep dive into dynamic range, and I've linked to it above, so definitely check that out. But the new Apple Log pipeline fixes another issue that's plagued the iPhone since it was first launched, and that's digital oversharpening. The digital sharpening applied by Apple is so aggressive, it makes it obvious that what you're watching was filmed with a smartphone. If you compare the iPhone to any traditional camera, such as the Blackmagic Pocket line or Sony FX3, you'll notice how much softer their image is while still preserving detail. Again, Google's Camera 2 API has for years allowed this to be disabled by third-party developers, creating a much more natural and pleasing image. But finally, with Apple Log, this too is disabled.
The difference between Apple Log and any other format offered on the iPhone 15 Pro is night and day when it comes to over sharpening of the image and will be appreciated by all those filmmakers chasing a more filmic image without having to resort to softening in post. And finally, now that Apple Log is a true log profile without the need for computational approaches to mimic log capture, we can finally solve another issue with Apple's iPhone, and that's its color. The image out of the iPhone since launch is a contrasty, oversaturated mess, no doubt to please consumer tastes. Apple Log gives filmmakers the perfect starting point to achieve a much more cinematic and pleasing look. I was excited when I learned that Apple even released their own official Apple Log to Rec 709 LUT, which is available from their developer portal. Don't get too excited though. Apple's official LUT transforms your data-rich ProRes log, brimming with potential, back into Apple's oversaturated mess, negating the reason why you'd even shoot in ProRes log in the first place. Thankfully, anyone can make their own LUT for Apple Log to achieve their desired look, and I worked with two friends of mine, Paul Henry and the color genius James Ballard, creator of the one LUT for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, which I'm actually using for this video, to create a LUT that matches Apple Log to the king of all cinema cameras, the Arri Alexa. James crafted this LUT, the one LUT for Apple Log, to match Arri's official Alexa K1S1 Rec 709 LUT. We tested the iPhone 15 Pro side by side with the Arri Alexa cinema camera to create a LUT that achieves a comparable color response pleasing skin tones, and the most cinematic image possible on an iPhone. And we were amazed at just how close to the Alexa James was able to match Apple Log. So, between no dynamic tone mapping, digital sharpening being disabled, and Apple Log providing the foundation for really beautiful looks via LUTs, I think the original promises of mobile filmmaking are at long last being realized. So well done Apple, they've finally delivered a truly impressive video camera that professionals can embrace, even if it does cost about as much as an actual cinema camera, but at least this one really does fit in your pocket. Plus, I'm just grateful I don't have to have Google's balls deep in my data anymore. Let's just hope that Apple doesn't undo all their good work with a future iOS update. In fact, they should retroactively apply these improvements to all iPhones via an iOS update. Even without Apple Log, a pipeline that disables tone mapping and sharpening is the right thing to do. If they ruin the iPhone with an iOS update, they can certainly fix it. But do I think this will happen? Not a f***ing chance. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, give it a share, and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out the one LUT for Apple Log, which is linked to in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.